In this video, we're going to take a look at the idea of associative files inside of Autodesk Inventor. Here I have four files open from our working files directory. Long slot runner IPT, loader IAM, loader IPN, and long slot runner .dwg. An important concept to understand about 3D modeling software is that changes made in one file can definitely affect changes into other files. So here the long slot runner IPT is our core modeling file. This is where all of our design intelligence takes place, our sketches, our features to help design and shape individual parts. Once this part has been finalized, we can actually put it into a IAM or a inventor assembly. So I'm gonna go down here to the bottom and click on loader IAM. And here you can see the entire loader and it has this long slot runner piece on this side of the bucket as well as the other side. Now this assembly, once completed, can be utilized to create an exploded view, which is our IPN. So I'll click on that one down there. This is an explosion to show disassembly or just an exploded view to get a better idea of how to document it for balloons inside of a drawing. Again, the long slot runner piece also exists here, as well as the IAM in general. In our last file, the long slot runner DWG, if I click on that, is a documentation piece of the long slot runner showing the different sizes of the hole locations and basically general documentation about that part. Now it's an important concept to understand that the long slot runner IPT that's been utilized in these other files is not copied into those files. It is not a unique instance of the long slot runner as it gets put into those files. It is essentially a hyperlinked file so that as the long slot runner IPT updates, so does the loader IAM, the loader IPN, and this drawing file. So let's take a look at that interaction. If I go back to the long slot runner IPT, I'm going to make a change to this. I'm going to use my show dimensions command by right clicking on extrusion two and using show dimensions. I'll change this from five to six and approve that check mark. I'll go ahead and update this file so you can see the length change. I'm also going to come in here and use my show dimensions again. I'll change this from 0.5 to 0.625 and also update that. So we can see there's changes that have taken place inside of this one IPT. When I go to the loader IAM, there is a pending update taking place. If I go to the very top and click on update, you can see it updates with the longer version of that file, also the larger holes. If I go to the IPN file, that automatically updates. There is no update inside of this file. There's just an automatic link to the assembly. And then on the drawing file, again, you can see it automatically updated and the dimensions are hooked onto the geometry correctly, so they automatically update it as well. Let's go back to the long slot runner and talk about this a little bit more. Let's consider that this IPT was utilized in 50 different designs. So I can basically make a change to 50 different assemblies, to IPN files that might be created and other documentation pieces all at once by changing the one IPT. That's why file management inside of 3D modeling is very crucial to effectively working with this type of system. Understanding your relationships and your associative files and how things are linked together can become a very effective way to create your designs for market. Conversely, if I didn't have this sort of functionality, if I had to update 50 separate drawing files, 50 separate presentation files, it would take a very long time to do so, and I would have a lot longer time in design and overhead before I ever got my product finished or any updates to those products. 